what we do is we've got a carpet template and that carpet template I've got some scrap kind of spare willow and we'll cut lots of little sticks and we'll put a, a, a small stick in each hole just as a marker and then remove the template we'll uh, and then we'll put all the big framework willow into the ground where the template sticks were because we make the thing upside down staked into the ground we weave it up with the seating and then we fold we bend all the big framework stakes over and then we take it out of the ground and cover it with the calico so that's the kind of how we go about it if you're doing one bash them in a little bit the mallets are in um, the green box so you can actually bash them in and then you'll be able to lift the carpet template off them if they're not in well enough you'll not get the top carpet template off If the belly's facing in the way, what will happen is that the, the surface will collapse towards the inside. So you need that tension of the belly facing out the way, and then you bend it over, obviously later on when we've done the weaving round it. So belly all the way round to the outside. Every stake with the belly pointing to the outside. The reason I got into coracles was I actually did a, a creel course which is a, a woven basket that sits on your back and it's made in a very very similar way to the coracles it's made by staking it into the ground and weaving it up they're doing really well uh, it's a very hot day so we're working against the heat there's the potential for the willow to dry out fairly rapidly uh, it makes it nice conditions to work in for the for the people working apart from being a bit kind of uh, getting a bit warm but it's it's we've got to work quite fast at this stage so that the the willow doesn't dry out on us too much because um, later on today we'll be bending all this big willow over into the into the bottom of the boats if you got to but no we'll, we'll, you'll get the hang you'll, you, it's, a, it's a pattern that you'll get the hang of if I left it underneath the weave that's just going to drop off when I take the coracle out of the ground are you kind of tying it in as you go I'm in a way tying it in as I go so if you could lift the seat up just kind of quite to a height actually it seems to be almost like two feet really that's great that's great so I'm going under again yeah yeah but with the thick that's at the thick end going underneath that single rod lifting it up This is the bit you'll all enjoy. This is that we've uh, we're over hmm, some of the slog. <laughs> Only a bit of the Don't slog. Worry, yes. Yes. Break it just gently. I'll break it to you very gently. Have a watch that up right there. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Much more strenuous than I imagined it would be. There's a lovely rhythm to it. It's gorgeous. It helps you concentrate and then what you're going to have at the end of it? Something useful. I love it. It's great. It's very rewarding. At the end of the day, you know, I think we can... At the end of the day, you're going to see something. Yeah, just what we've achieved over these couple of days. And it's nice to keep the tradition going of Coracle building. I think that's the important thing. lovely to see it all appearing in front of you, growing up and, and no matter how messy you feel it is, how it's got a pattern in the end, doesn't it? It's just gorgeous. It's just lovely. Have you ever done anything like this before? Not remotely. <laughs> Closest thing is crochet, I think. He's <laughs> <laughs> walking around with a biscuit his neck. Twist them all together. No, 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 no. You just have to be a bit brutal and just create the space for it to fit in. Curving it in. That's it. So this is the moment of truth because we'll see how much it's dried out. Can it crack? It can. Shh. And then we do Does it give you a warning? Does it crack no, first of all? No, no it just goes. No, it just, well sometimes you hear it creaking a bit. But 
you've got to do it really steadily. The thing about this is to do it very, very steadily and just let it rest almost on a point. Yeah. Yeah, if you hold it there for a minute, Alex, yeah, and then we'll take it out. Very steadily take that. Don't let go, Alex. No, no, I'll stand on it. It will be doing. And then we come round to the opposite side. You cut too little off to be in with rather than too much. Don't go cutting too much off. Okay. <laughs> This bit's quite difficult. Just got to be so careful that it doesn't kind of yeah, yeah. out of there. Yeah. 